dude, you just did untold harm to your brand, and you don't even know how. This is Act My Age, lessons from a guy who's old enough to know better. I'm Brother Russ, and this is a video I don't want to make. Where do I begin? Well, first off, you'll notice the lighting sucks, the sound sucks, everything sucks. I really didn't want to do this video right now. It's been actually many weeks since I've done a video, been dealing with personal issues. But this whole thing, Alpha M, Aaron Marino, did a video of couple of weeks back I guess now week and a half about how movement was better than Rolex as a watch brand and I don't want to get into this whole thing about the watches but I've seen a number of videos responding I've seen his response on his T. Shanley blog I've seen him interviewed with Teddy Baldessar uh, go watch all that stuff but there's something bigger at stake and this really is one of those lessons from someone who was old enough to know better in all of that stuff, he recognized that he made a mistake doing the video. He thought it was a joke. Fine. But what he doesn't understand is the damage that he did to his own brand. And why. That's most importantly. At least he's not acknowledging it. And that's what this video is. The damage that he made is actually pretty simple. It has to do with being a trusted advisor. When you're used to consult consultative sales, you try to become a trusted advisor. In other words, it's one thing to sell soap. You sell the soap and you're out the door and if the product's any good, they come back and they wanna buy another thing of soap. It's something else when you've got something more complex going on. When you wanna be seen as a trusted source of information, and that's what the whole Alpha M brand is, if you've ever seen his, his videos, he deals with men's style, he does a wonderful job at so many things, but not this one. And this one actually made a huge problem for his brand, and one that I have not heard him or anyone else talk about for that matter, so that's what this video is. The problem is that he was a trusted advisor. For lots and lots of men on the internet, particularly younger men trying to do, trying to understand men's style, Alpha M was it. He was the trusted advisor. If he brought a product on, if he talked about a particular style, if he talked about a particular way of dressing, men would flock to him. The problem with this video about movement being better than Rolex has nothing actually to do with the products themselves. But when you start talking about the impact of it, a lot of folks now realize that he's a salesman, period. There's nothing wrong with being a salesman. He's a very good salesman. Salesmen do well. But in the world of selling, there are people who sell, and then there are trusted advisors. He used to be a trusted advisor to a lot of men. We're now going to look at him as a salesman. He just made a huge step down, and that's the problem. When you're doing what he does for a living, it all bends on being that trusted advisor. You have to be the voice the people listen to. When he says something, people want to act on it. The thing about a salesman well, think of every infomercial you've ever seen at 3 o'clock in the morning selling you Ginzu knives or some new detergent. It may be effective, but when that person comes on the screen, you don't think, oh, I have to hear what they have to say because they are the people I trust. This is somebody I know is going to guide me in the right direction. You don't do that with infomercials. You don't do that with most salespeople. You do it for trusted advisors. And Aaron Marino just made the step down to being a salesman for a lot of men because he did something, apparently unconsciously, you know, I'm willing to take his word that it was a joke, 
Although I don't know why you would put a link to buy stuff if it's a joke underneath your video. I, that's kind of weird. It doesn't help. But if it was, you know, it, it left people with the, with the sensation that he's just a guy out to sell you something. And as soon as you make that leap from trusted advisor to sales, salesman, you have just damaged your brand incredibly. And that's what he did. There are a lot of fellows that are going to be unsubscribing. There are going to be a lot more they'll they'll watch. But it would be interesting to see his conversion rates on his new products. Because up until now, a lot of guys took everything he had to say as gospel. And now it's going to be, really? How much commission are you making out of this one, Aaron? You know, because, I mean, part of it, and once again, he, he one of the things about the whole Rolex versus movement thing that he doesn't seem to quite grasp, he says, well, he likes the style of movement. Fine. You know what? I like the style of certain fashion watches. But I go to eBay or Gearbest, and I buy pretty much the exact same watch with the exact same look for like 5 or $10, not 150 or 200 that's the piece that he he misses here. Yes, the movement guys have been, made a great success. They've made a great success selling something that you can get elsewhere if you shop for a tenth of the price. <coughs> I did a video on that as well, on the whole thing about fashion watches. You can watch that. I'll try to put the link in below. But this is the thing. He is now fallen. Congratulations, Aaron. You are now a sales rep. Uh, I don't think it'll do you a lot of good. So hopefully you'll recover. Hopefully you will build up again the trust because you lost a lot of trust. And that's the problem. Trust doesn't come with a paycheck. Trust is what makes everything go when you're a sales rep. So you can get that consultative sale because people trust you. Now there are a lot of people who simply don't trust you anymore. So anyway, this is the video I didn't want to make. Like, subscribe. See you in the next one.